What's up guys, Derb here and I'm back for another review. Uh, this is part 3 of my post ToyCon 2013 reviews and for this review I'll be covering the Marvel Select Thing figure. Uh, you can see here, this guy, I got it loose at ToyCon during the last day. I think, yeah, it comes with a base but yeah, like what I said, I got him loose. Um, the base of this guy reminds me or if you have seen it, uh, it's kind of like the Juggernaut and the Abomination's base where it has that stand and a cardboard with an image on it. Uh, for this guy, I think the stand looks like a hoverboard or something and the picture on the cardboard uh, is the image of the Fantastic Four uh, standing in front of the Baxter building. So let's get it on with the figure. You can see right away this guy is hefty. And it's kind of heavy. And kind of like as heavy as the Juggernaut figure. Uh, let me fix him up so you can see here. Uh, right off the bat, uh, the thing that strikes me the most is the texture of this guy. Really reminds you of like a rocky texture. See here, the paint detail. And I kind of like the orange that they use for this guy. And the creases you can see here are painted. It isn't black. I think it's a gray mixed in with the black you can see there and see on the back the arms the fists yeah he sculpted very well uh yeah he has though some big arms and his big fists and you can see the paint detail on the th tights here it's a lighter blue with some dark black shading the paint dry paint brush and you can see here and this one's a more like bluish blue uh, this one looks like it's kind of like going the teal shade this one's more like a sky blue with the dark shading and the boots you can see here are just plain black turn in around and you can see the shading again so yeah um i'm going right like, to the articulation because i want to discuss something his head can move down this much and up this much side to side um he doesn't have a torso joint or a di diaphragm joint but he has a waist swivel um his arms can go up this art this figure stiff forward and back single jointed elbows uh, like if you've watched Hardimus Prime's review it doesn't go like in a straight line because of this part right here but I'm cool with it uh, wrist swivel uh, the legs can go forward in an angle backward in an angle and a bit out and single jointed knees his angles can move up and down and that's it this figure might be one of the most less articulated figures from the Marvel select line I know they're more into the sculpts and the paint detail and not much with the articulation but comparing it with the newer release releases uh, uh, this doesn't have that much articulation but I have to say this guy has one of the best paint details barring the boots because the boots are like it isn't rightly sculpted I think it on, it's only sculpted from right here and it's just flat but you can see some creases there so there you go yeah so like comparing with some big bruisers here's the Marvel Select Rhino a newer figure and a better articulated one you can see here Rhino's a bit taller, but the thing is girthier. Here's the Marvel Select Unleashed Hulk figure. Uh, actually, this is for me the definitive Hulk. You can see the Hulk towers this guy, but it's more girthier. And for the Marvel Legends scale, here's the Marvel Legends build a figure blob, which is one of the more bigger build figures from Hasbro and you can see he's girthier because of the arms but this guy is also big and I think 
thing is just taller by half an inch. So, yeah, you can really say this guy is big. Um, the problem I have with this guy is that his sculpted or he's like out of scale with the Legends line. I know Thing should be like 6 to 6.5 but only girthier. Um, I wish that they could have made him smaller or shorter but the girth is very well done. Uh, Thing should be really girthy. Um, but I've seen some displays and if they fake it and I've seen it works, it works. So there you go guys, um, I'll, be, I'll be giving out the grades for articulation. Sad to say I'm gonna give this guy a 6. Um, paint detail, I'm gonna give this guy a 9 or yeah 9 for the skin tone alone. Major points being deducted, one big point due to the boots. A sculpt, I'll give him a 9.5 and overall this figure gets an 8.5 or I'm being too generous it's an 8 so there you go guys um if you want a I don't know this is like most of the people I've known have used this figure more than the legends one even though the thing should be not as tall as this guy is but you can fake it so there you go guys uh, I'll be doing a video before I play football later uh, I'll be posting the videos on my page please do check it out 8-bit monster on facebook and please do subscribe to my channel thanks guys peace